And the connection with the spirit that you're going to have is the work that you're doing with him, you know. I had a, a dear friend of mine, um, and I was trying to explain to him that, you know, if you don't talk to the angel, well, they're outside smoking a cigarette. You know, they, you know, there's no relation going on with them and you, you know. If you start uh, including them in your life, then uh, uh, you can work with them, especially if it's for the, to be in service to others, right? It's the vibrational aspect of each plant, right? The frequency of each plant. So it makes a lot of sense to, uh, to add plants to, to your bowl, especially bowls. They are made to hold something, you know? Exactly. So usually, you know, I use plants that I've been working with. You know, it's like spirit. It's like, you know, so you have a connection with spirit because you talk to them all the time. And then you have connection with the plant because all you did what they call dieta in South America. Uh, or you were raised with them, you know. So actually, I, I use usually lavender, who come from France, because I feel, and it's again all based on, on, on how I react to it. Everybody would have a different reaction, not reaction, a different um, liaison, a different uh, 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 connection with each plant, you know. So um, I use lavender. Lavender is a plant with cooling, it's the color blue, so you know, it goes with the throat chakra for me. So. And it's also regulating the, the bodily functions, the fluid in the body. Um, so if somebody uh, needs healing, especially after surgery or even any traumatic event, I will use lavender inside the bowl directly. And then when I play the bowl, I will call the spirit of lavender to release itself and do their work around the, the person. If a person comes and she's, uh, or he uh, is all uh, stressed out, and uh, all in his head, then I will probably use uh, tobacco because it's grounding or, or coca leaves because of the strength and the power of coca. And, uh, and that goes for you know, many other plants. Um, so that's something that you can keep in mind. It's part of the alchemical world of sound. You know, it's not just sound. It's everything. The planet, you know, which we're not going to go through the planet this time. Uh, I think it's going to be for next year because it's a whole different subject and uh, John Beaulieu is a master of uh, working with planet and tuning fork and I'll let him, you know, talk about it next time so we're not going to go there. So uh, regarding the alchemical view of sound, uh, so we can bring the plant kingdom definitely, the one that you are close to, rose, uh, the essence of rose, the f divine feminine, uh, I use that as, as well, you know, and so the queen of uh, flowers rose, and it's just, just uh, uh, it calls on the Virgin Mary and, and so forth. So it's a, it's a beautiful entity, it's a beautiful presence, it's a beautiful vibration. It's soft but strong in the same time. And so you can put petals of rose uh, into your bowl and, um, and then bring them alive with sound. And the, the, the frequency of your bowl and the frequency of the plant and the help of the angel will do the trick, you know, and you will see definitely a difference on the client. Now, see how Mr. Sound is reacting to the body. And again, I'm going to go from the head, and, you know, barely to the toe, but to the, the root chakra. And I will just listen. And here I hear, I hear uh, 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 So actually, if you, you know, because we're, this world is made of resonance, you are, you, with, and if your ears is trained enough, um, actually not only in your ears, your whole body, because you're vibrating beings as well. So actually don't think about just the ear, think about your whole body, or like, like I was saying with the hands, you know, we are a hearing machine, okay? And um, so you will be able to hear um, not really a dissonance per se, but a change. There's a change of a tone, you know, and it's just a confirmation where you should be working, you know. Now, um, yeah, 
So then, with the same two uh, fork, you're just like putting the intention in the body. The perfect fifth is a very healing vibration. And you tell the body that, you tell the body that uh, we prepare the body with these frequencies. All around. And then in the head. And just that brings the client to a state of uh, total relaxation. Um, you know, you notice that when John says we're tuning four, you can go like that, you know, and uh, it's great, you know. But if you want the client to, to be able to hear the sound without doing this, which is kind of like tough for the ears, then, you know, just have to, I go pretty strong on my bone, actually, in order to have this sound, which is very nice. But you may want to use a poke if you are not sure of where to hit the fork. And then after, you know, I um, gave uh, a message to the body with the perfect fifth, the C energy together, I will just apply it to the ears.